it out is of everything I needed to know. Now going into this my second spring, I'm, I'm so much more comfortable getting everybody on the same page. I'm not having anybody having to tell me um, the right tackle, hey, I, we're calling the wrong player, this and that. Uh, it's just more comfortable. Uh, I'm a sophomore now, played a lot last year as a true freshman, which is unheard of at quarterback here. So uh, I'm looking forward to this spring and just continuing to grow mentally and physically and just mentally as a person and becoming a better leader. Were they hard lessons to learn last year? Yeah, I mean, man, you know, anytime you have a situation where you know you're not playing it as, as good as you can, um, you take it very personally. And, uh, you know, I'm just I'm eager to get on the field for this upcoming season. Obviously, you take uh, spring you know, day by day, but I'm eager to get on the, the field this upcoming season and just show everybody how I've revamped what I've, uh, you know, my footwork, um, learning defenses post-snap, pre-snap, and just improving overall as a quarterback. When you look back on the season, what stands out as a high point? What stands out as a low point? I think the high point is uh, getting an opportunity to play. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, anytime you're in this conference at quarterback, you expect it to redshirt. But um, getting an opportunity to play, and obviously, I know what it's like now. I mean, I've played an Alabama game. I've played, got an opportunity to play, start a game at Auburn, uh, playing some 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 games. So obviously, I know what to expect. I know what the speed is, and. And I know kind of how the feel of a game week goes and everything like that. So I think as far as that, the highest would be getting an opportunity to play. The lowest point, I would say, is just not winning the last game and uh, not having more consistency out of, out of me personally, uh, being more consistent as a quarterback. How much have you grown in your relationship with Coach Cameron? Yeah, I mean, it's grown a lot. I've always, I've always had a great relationship with him, even when he was back to recruiting me. And now it's more so... If I don't understand, you know, when I was a freshman, I wouldn't ask these same questions. But now, you know, now I'm feeling comfortable. I understand why we're running this for this reason. Uh, just overutilizing him, not taking advantage, but overutilizing him. He's an intelligent guy, one of the best offensive coordinators in the country. And I think just, you know, overutilizing him and, and understanding why we do things in certain situations. Has he changed the way he teaches y'all or, or is what he's throwing at y'all? I wouldn't say he changed the way he teaches yeah. us. I mean, it's always been uh, simplified. Uh, not saying he's. You know, handicapping us a baby. That's we, you know, we in fact check plays at a lot of scrimmage. So I think more so, he's he's emphasized more about your know, ball security, uh, being mentally tough, and, uh, physically tough, and and uh, you know, being an overall leader and improving in leadership role. You, Brandon, what you, what's, what's your thoughts when you hear so many people say, well, LSU will be good next year if they get good quarterback? Yeah. So, I mean, that's what everybody yeah. talks about that well, around the country. Well, I, you, know, I, I, you know, I really could care less what anybody else says. I just think uh, we have quarterbacks here. Uh, I think this upcoming season everybody will get an opportunity to see that we have quarterbacks here. And uh, I look to improve myself. I don't feel like it's any other guy uh, that, may be, that may be out in the country that – they come and do the same things that we're doing. I mean, it's a different system uh, that other people are running across the country. Uh, you know, we're post style. We check the players at the line of scrimmage, and we do different different things. So, you know, this upcoming season is going to be a lot different. Brennan, what do you think held you back to getting more playing time after that start at Auburn? What yeah, do, I mean, do I, think, people don't, I mean, I dealt with the ankle, high ankle sprain. Uh, you know, that lingered throughout the season. I'm now 100% healthy after you know, rehabbing the right way. And everybody, obviously everybody knows if you deal with a high ankle sprain, it kind of lingers throughout the season. You heard that against all Yes, I did. And I think uh, also just, you know, the coaches seen how that game went, and they kind of want to, you know, one thing you don't want to do is ever hurt anybody confidence. And I have the utmost, you know, confidence in what Coach Miles and all those guys have in place. And, uh, you know, he obviously know how, how to operate a, a program, and he's done a good job here. What's, what's, what's going to be like the competition? with you and Anthony with the talk about yeah, that I, I don't think uh, I don't look at him as competition I look at myself as competition I'm the only thing that I felt like is, is holding myself back and held myself back this past season and, and, and now I realize that you know this past season I held myself back I wasn't asking enough questions I wasn't doing enough as an overall quarterback and you know, there was one thing coming in 2015 that I wanted to do is, is handle myself more uh, like a professional and uh, if I have a question don't be afraid to ask if I mess up uh, you know, admit the mistake and improve. Yes, I think that's what I've done going into this spring years. Is it more mental, Brennan, than anything else? Last year was more mental. Now uh, it's more, I would say, mental as well as leadership. I've always had the physical better talent and just, you know, getting everybody on the same page again and realizing quarterback is more than just throwing the football. Have you, have you raised your work ethic up? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think I've always had a great work ethic, but you can always improve. You can always improve your work ethic. So I think uh, I just, man, I just overutilize our coaches. Any chance I get, uh, I'm, I'm actually.
ask the questions just to improve because I just want to be reach my full potential and be the best quarterback I can for our, our, our team is a